Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to NTV Team Action News, February 25th, 2013. I'm Nolan Weiss. And I'm Jeffrey Jorgerson. How's it going, Jeffrey? Not bad. How are you yourself? Good. How's the month of February been treating you? It has been treating me very well. The end, better than the start. No snow at the start. Starting to get some more snow towards the Lots end. Lots of snow. Hopefully, uh, the snow is going to stick around until March. I hope not. I hope it goes away because I'm ready for the summertime. And March coming up only brings up one thing. That's March Madness. I know. Can't that, wait. That's going to be a good time, too. I... I'm going to have the winning ready. bracket. My mm -hmm. brackets, not a single team is going to be wrong on my this year's You're bracket. You're going to win the million dollars. I'm going to win the million dollar prize. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay. Good luck on that. But there's some great awards out last night from the Oscars winners, 85th annual. Great time watching that with Seth MacFarlane, probably the best host ever, I think, in the 85 years running. Best host they've had for the Oscars. Except guess what? I'm not Seth MacFarlane. I'm Daniel Day-Lewis. I'm just that good. If there was an Oscar for best news reporters in the Upper Kittitas County, I would say we would get it. Jeff and Nolan. Yeah. Yep. yeah we got Last night, though, bringing up some winners, the best actor is Daniel Day-Lewis with his role in Abraham Lincoln, artist Lincoln. Great job. Best actress goes to Jennifer Lawrence. Congratulations if you're out there watching. <laughs> Best picture, of course, goes out to Argo. Ben Affleck's picture with Steven Spielberg. Awesome job right there. Original screenplay goes to Django. Unchained. And best director, Ang Lee. He stole the night right there with the director of Life of Pi. Very sweet movie. Cannot wait to watch that movie. So you don't know if it's sweet Well, I've been seeing the previews and all the little teasers because I missed it when it was at the Rosin Theater, but cannot wait till it comes out and watch that movie because the... The special gra the graphics were on it were just so cool. Congratulations to all the winners. Yeah. And Seth MacFarlane to host the uh, Oscars. That's a huge um, thing to have on his career. I'm so ready for this. And Nolan just mentioned the Roslyn Theater, and they are going to be showing Zero Dark Thirty. And they were up for a couple of Oscars themselves. Yeah, and they won the Best Sound, too. I know they're in Sound place. Editor? Sound Editing. Yep. Sound Editing. And go check out Zero Dark Thirty at the Roslyn Theater. And while you're there, make sure to donate. They are $6,000 away from their $25,000 goal. Very exciting thing for their digital conversion. Roslyn Theater, great little part of Roslyn. And there's no better time to go out there and help them out other than this Saturday and Sunday at 1 o'clock. They are going to be showing the Runner Stumbles. Oh, yeah, great times right there. And it's only by donation. And the McTakeover, Clealum McDonald's store, will be partying with Roslyn like we've been bringing to you every week. They're going to collaborate the funds for the Roslyn Theater on February 27th. 10% of all proceeds from 4.30 to 7.30 will be going to the Roslyn Theater. Awesome thing right there from the Cleola McDonald's. And Ronald McDonald himself is going to be there. Oh. Also, Maggie's Pantry in Roslyn is giving 10% of their grocery proceeds of the month of February. Awesome thing right there. Local businesses working together for the Roslyn Theater. Tons of ways to support the Roslyn Theater, so be sure to get out there and take advantage of these ways and help other local businesses as well. Talking about local businesses, Maccabees, 20th anniversary sale is going on the whole month of February. Do not miss out. You only have a couple days left where you can find 50%, 30%, and 20% deals throughout the store. Maccabees Gifts of the Southwest. What an amazing shop they have. Not only do they have tons of gifts for you and loved ones there, but they also have the best fudge Ooh. in Kittitas County. Their fudge is delicious. I swear by that. Forest Service Road 3300 will be closing from February 25th to March 1st. They will be closed to all motorized vehicles, including snowmobiles. Staying on the snowmobile topic, at the last resort this last Saturday, it was the 23rd annual vintage snowmobile run held at the last resort, and Eddie was there to get some footage for our viewers. Washington. We have the TNT single cylinder snowmobile racing. And uh, how many entries do we have for this event? Well, today we've got five, and uh, that's a little lean as per normal, but our weather has been very unpredictable. Uh, I've uh, been pretty fortunate. I come in first twice. So, like always, we prefer to have more, but uh, uh, we're happy. Yeah. 
Thank you, Eddie, for collecting that footage, and thank you, Larry, for taking the time out of your day for talking to us here at NTV. And if you want to check out more stories like this, check us out on YouTube, where we have all of our brand new news every Monday and Thursdays for your viewing pleasure. And you can check us out 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. on NTV, Team Action News. Mount Stewart Animal Clinic is putting on a low-cost vaccination and microchip clinic. This is going on March 9th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Mount Stewart Animal Clinic. Make sure to get down there and get vaccinations and your animal microchipped. Susan Palooza is going to be taking place on March 2nd. It's going to be starting at 6 o'clock. It's going to be held at the NWI building, and it's going to be for the Roslyn Library. Great fundraiser. They have this every year. It's a good time, good people all around. Yep, happening this Saturday. Make sure you get your tickets. And then the next Saturday at the Brick, they will be having the 25th annual running of the Water Spittoon races. So get your boats ready and get there. Um, it's going on March 9th. This is going to be a great time and unfortunately, I'm going to miss it. So you got to get that boat ready for Jeff. What? Jeff. You're yeah. going to miss it? I'm going to miss it. Oh my goodness. So uh, you'll be supporting the new Channel 40 NTV boat. I'll, uh, I'll have Eddie as my uh, captain. His captain, captain. Skipper? My coat, you'll be my skipper. Inland Networks will be calling our cable customers to be swapping out your old DCT boxes or your old DVR boxes. There will be the new DCT boxes will be smaller and the DVR boxes will have more holding capacity for your favorite TV shows, and it's free. On February 21st, the Living With Wolves class took place in downtown Roslyn, and Aaron was there to collect some footage, and it was a good turnout. Obviously, we're beyond five packs. Uh, there's been some management issues, so I'll turn the floor over to these gentlemen. I mean, we live here, we live in the, in the Northwest, we live in the Cascades because we love it. I mean, those, those pictures to me were just awe-inspiring of the scenery, but also of the wildlife. And, you know, whether you're awe-inspired just because they're back, or whether you're, you're wondering what's it going to mean to me because you're a hunter or a rancher, it, it, it should all still bring just, you know, to me it makes the hair of my neck stand up and I think, wow, we are living in a place where this is happening. I'm the deer and elk conflict specialist with the Department of Fish and Wildlife. So I deal with wildlife conflict as a day in and day out job. I've been doing it for about six years now, um, but I have a background in working with wolves. Actually, Isaac Babcock and I used to work together for the Nez Perce tribe a few years back. As wolf biologists, their job was to trap collar wolves, keep track of the numbers as they expanded in Idaho after the reintroduction. Thank you to all the Living with Wolves experts for updating us on what we can do to protect ourselves while living with these creatures, and especially with a couple packs rolling around. And if you want to see this full Living with Wolves presentation, it will be on NTV at select times. The Cleveland Ron City Council will be happening this Tuesday at 7 p.m., so make sure to get down there and voice your opinion if you have any concerns in the Roslyn or Cleveland area. Inland Warriors had a big tournament take yes, place did. this last weekend, and they did pretty well. Coming out number three out of eight teams, if I'm not mistaken, yep. and the kids played fantastic. Yes, the coaches did. got the technicals, and... We got a little rowdy. Yep, I guess. I told you. Yep. Not coaching. And then we had a great time in Leavenworth for the weekend. Leavenworth's always a great town with the Bovarian theme, and then we're at the Cascade Classic Tournament. Like Jeff said, got third. Our boys did an awesome job losing versus Meridian, but uh, then coming back on Sunday and winning that game. Great job to Inland Warriors and keep up the great work for two more games the rest of the season. Best of luck. Yeah. Maybe you guys can pull out a winning season. John Walling won state at the Matt Classic in Tacoma Dome. John is from Kittitas and he had a great season, eight and six. Awesome job. And also, Maisha and Jacqueline Hunter, first two females of Kittitas to compete in state. Maisha took eighth place at 190 pounds, and Jacqueline took fifth at 170. Good job, ladies. That is impressive. That is and sweet. I'm pretty sure I, you guys would give me a run for my money. Oh, yeah. Both of them would beat you up. <laughs> yeah. But awesome job, you two. Everybody from Kittitas doing a great job at the Matt Classic in Tacoma Dome for the B School. Great job, Kittitas. Making the history books for sisters, history. making state That's and placing cool. too. Very cool. New barn quilt is getting hung up this week at the Swak Tanaway Grange, so look out for that. Jeff and I will be proudly hanging up their new barn quilt out in the Swak Grange, and hopefully uh, the weather will clear up because it will it's, be it's really be a, windy out there. A little bit cold. Yeah, yes, cold and windy. That snowy, won't be very good for that snowy. barn yeah. quilt going up. Yeah, we had a great time though scary. at the uh, the Ballard Barn. 
And uh, it turned out very well, yes, brightening up that whole entire side of the barn, and it's in memory of Greg Ballard. An awesome person. Couldn't have been for a better man, so. And thank you to all the volunteers who put that up and made that happen. Yep, Jacqueline Fawcett and everybody at the Kittitas County Barn Quilts. Great job. And a big congratulations to Cleveland's very own Jesse Johnson for becoming Ellensburg's royalty. She is a princess at this year's rodeo, and the best of luck to you and your upcoming year. Very fantastic. And uh, yep. it's, it's going like to definitely be a busy well year for her. Yes. Whole summer, all the great festivities, and then to end it off with the Ellensburg Parade, the Grand Parade, and the rodeo. Congratulations, Jesse Johnson. She was an avid viewer of Channel 40, and now she's just too busy with her life. And we'd like to shut down tonight's episodes by wishing some people a very happy birthday. Some happy birthdays for the end of February. February 27th, Ryan Nendrick, happy birthday. And on February 28th, our very own Eddie Castillo. Oh, Eddie, he's going to be finally 22. Uh, I was going to say 18, 19. It sure acts like it. <laughs> oh. March snap. 1st, happy birthday, Vicki Schaefer and Cassie Fishnick. Happy birthday. And on March 2nd, happy birthday to Carrie Farnham and Tiffany Goble. On fourth, our own Inland Outworks employee, Laura Armstrong, and Cena Lanfear. Happy birthday to you two ladies. Happy birthday to all the February babies and early March babies. Yep. Mine's just around the corner. It's in July, Jeff. Yep, well. And if we missed your birthday, don't let it happen again or anniversary. Give us a call, 649-3940. And also, happy uh, anniversary to the Lammers, 50th anniversary. Awesome job they celebrated last week. Congratulations. Congratulations. Special time. It's been a couple of local boys. Shoot me some local news. For you, February 25th, 2013, I'm Owen Weiss. And I'm Jeffrey Jorgensen. And check us out every single week, twice a week, actually, Mondays and Thursdays, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. It's been a long week. Thanks, Eddie. And boys.